Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Morbid Molly Things. I'm in need of some drinks for me and my two kids to get us by until the first. We drink Hawaiian Punch, the blue kind. We drink iced tea, the lemon flavor. Gatorade, Powerade. We don't have nothing until the first. I didn't want to come on here and ask, but I have no other option. I don't drive. I'm in South Begton. While it would suck to see a kid have to go without food or drink or anything like that, at the end of the day, tap water would work perfectly, and I know in a lot of places, it tastes like shit, but it'll do the job it needs to do. This next one is by Gigi Buffoon. Anybody donating a cage like this? Definitely not. Be reasonable when asking for donations. The fact that they're even asking for a cage like that for free speaks volumes. It makes me wonder if that's where they'll keep the dog permanently and never let it out. This next one is from Theos U. I hate asking you, but is there any way you could help me out with the hotel for me and the boys the next few days? I filled for a divorce. Wait, what? I mean, yeah, you know I got you, but what? What happened? Girl, I'm just sick of it. He's working two jobs and he never does anything for me. I have to use box hair dye, <laughs> paint my own nails, cook every night because we can't afford to go out. I can't tell you the last time I got a new outfit. We canceled the trip to Florida because he said it was going to cost too much. The money from his grandpa is gone. I'm tired of being broke, Ashley. I can't live like this no more. I need somebody to provide. I'm done being broke and miserable. <laughs> you are not funny. I'm tired of your shit tonight. Take your ass to bed. This isn't a joke. I'm for real for real leaving. Like, tonight. The fuck you mean you're not kidding? I love you, and we've always been close. But me being me, you know I'm gonna straight up call you out on some BS. You're telling me you're about to divorce a man you've been married to for 14 years because you're broke? Because you ain't got new shoes or clothes? Because you ain't took a vacation? Because your hair ain't did and your nails ain't popping? This man ain't beat you, betrayed you, drug you through the mud, but you mad because he's working not one, but two jobs and he's broke? Where you work at, Beggy? How much money you putting into this? Bitch, please. You ain't ever loved that man if you're gonna walk out on him cause he's broke. He's been providing. A house, a car, food, your children have clothes and shoes. I mean, what the fuck? Vows? For better or worse, life is hard. It takes two people nowadays. You got a damn good husband. He's a damn good daddy to those boys and you gonna vanish because he ain't got no money? <sighs> Some men are dogs, and I feel like some of them are because of women like you. You can bring the boys to me, but I ain't sending you no money. I feel like you deserve to know what broke is. This right here is a fantastic example of a great friend. They're not sugarcoating it or anything for the beggar. They're laying it all out and saying it exactly how it is, and the sad thing is the beggar will most likely process this and either figure out how to deflect or make excuses. This next one is by Boulder1983. In search of porcelain floor tiles, either wood effect or large white or gray, white square or rectangular tiles. We are completing our new house build and have run out of money to put flooring down. We've got about 2,800 feet of floor to cover just downstairs and a small in suite upstairs. Obviously, that's not all one space. Engineered wood would be an option everywhere but the kitchen and bathrooms, if anyone has any going spare. Before anyone thinks I'm being really cheeky trying to get things for free, my husband and I are both retired. I had to stop work 20 years ago due to a diagnosis of Ehlers-Danlos and Crohn's. We sold our English house so we could build our house here and hopefully be mortgage free. 
Then the war in Ukraine hit and prices went through the roof. We've tried to build our house as carbon neutral as possible by sourcing within 50 miles and building the house to be as passive as possible within our limited budget. In other words, we've built fabric first, but this has come at a cost because NI doesn't give grants for energy efficiency, unlike the rest of the UK. We need to be in the house by July as our current rental agreement runs out then, and we need to be able to get the kitchen and at least one bathroom and the utility in to make the house livable so we can do the rest slow time. Any help with this would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> I just have to question if these people even take the time to plan things out, or if they literally wing it, and then once they reach the point like this, they just ask and assume somebody will come to the rescue. Our next one is from DW555. Treated myself to new boots, so would like to offer my old ones to somebody who might need a pair. It's this model by Forma. Sorry, don't have picks, but they are in okay condition, otherwise I wouldn't be offering them. I've had them during a downpour once, and the waterproofness is questionable, as think some stuff got in via the seams. I since treated them with a Nick Wax leather proofer I had lying around, so they might fare better next time. Size is 46, which is meant to be 11 UK, but I wear 11 normally, and those run larger. Based in London, collection only I'm afraid, Northwest London, or can do around Central when in office. PM to try to arrange. Hi, I'm based up north but I can collect if you cover my petrol money as I'm far. Thank you for your kindness. It amazes me that you've got beggars like this that honestly think they can benefit to getting something free even further by getting their gas paid for for them too. This next one is by That Jewish Izzy. Hey, I saw your flyer on the community board in the dining hall and I'm interested. Hi, which flyer? The one for the phone or the PS4? The iPhone 12 Pro Max. Pro Max. Do you still have it for sale? Yep, sure is. $275. Maybe. It got covered by someone else's fryer or something, but I put $500 at the bottom of the ad. Seems super steep considering it's used. I could do $300 maybe. Even used, it's still worth at least $500 since it's in practically perfect condition. I might be willing to drop to $480 or something, but nothing lower. $325! Please, my 11 Pro isn't holding up great. Sorry, can't do that low. You could probably find a 12 Pro with a smaller storage capacity on Facebook Marketplace, so maybe try looking there. Clown! Clown clown! More emojis! To a normal person, once somebody states what their absolute bottom line is, there's no sense in trying to negotiate under that because it's just gonna fall through. A lot like this beggar, but this beggar got butt hurt because they didn't get their way. This next one is from Adre Fofadre. Hey, can I stay at your place for a month of June? No. Seriously? We don't live together well, man. We couldn't stay in the same Airbnb without conflict. When? My buddy Blank still has his unit available. He'd probably let you stay there for a month. Blank says it's bad. It's fine. I'll find a good friend. If you deem friendship based on who gives things to you, who lets you stay at their place, or things like that, then that's really a shallow way to gauge friendship. Then again, we know most beggars are actually shallow. This next one is by Southern Cal. Needed small baby goldfish for new tank and very excited seven year old. Need tomorrow, Saturday. Thanks. Why the hell would you need a free baby goldfish? You could easily get one of those if you go to any local pet store. God, beggars are so cheap. And our final one is from Thalkandra Native. $50, China Hutch. Hello, is this still available? Yes, are you interested? Yes, I need. Weighs a lot or not? Sell me at $35, what do you say? To go pick up. What are you saying? I need for my son. 
I've got a lot of people wanting it. $35 is too low. Please? And how much do you give me? I'll give you $40 then. What are you saying? Hello? Is it still available? I can go pick up in the afternoon. Pay your $50. Send my your address, please. You're fourth in line for it. I will let you know if the people ahead of you pass on it this evening. Sell me and already! The beggars like this always confuse me because I think they wake up confused themselves. I mean, they're point blank told there's a line ahead of them, yet they seem to think they're first in line. Then they try to lowball. It, it's just, I, I don't understand the logic that goes through their head outside of choosing beggar logic. All right, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.